I'm ready. So today in the studio, we're going to practice directing, uh, which means next week we're going to actually shoot our first show, our first recording in the studio. But before we do that, I need to go over uh, the opening of the show, what it is, what's the opening for, what's the show format look like, and what's the opening for the assistant director and the opening for the director. All of you will be directors, you know, in the class. So let's, let's look at what the show is going to look like. So, we do a format page. We got your, uh, you got your video, and you have your audio. Okay, on video we start from black, and then there's nothing on the audio. And then the next happens is uh, your graphic, then up theme, which means your music fades up. And then from there, we're going to go to uh, camera uh, two, long shot, that's host and guest. Okay, the music's still playing. And from there, we've got one, medium shot, host. And then down theme. Uh, mic and key talent. Uh, we'll check, uh, down and out. And the host says, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is, and today my guest is, and the guest name. And then when you say the guest name, you get a one medium shot of the guest. That's the basic opening for the show. And then you have a two minute conversation, and then you cut to the end, and the end of the show will be again from camera one, it'll be one medium shot, host, thank you for joining us. For joining us. Tune in next time. Same time, same channel, same time, whatever you want to say there. And then from there, the video goes to uh, two long shot host and guest, up theme. And then from there it goes to uh, graphics, the closing graphic, and the theme still playing. And then from there it goes to black, and th then down and out theme. Okay, so I, I just I just realized you, you. I mean I know you know what's going to be on the cameras, but let me just give you an idea what's going to be on the cameras. For example, uh, camera one. You know, it's going to be a medium shot. Oh, that's not even a medium shot. Let's do that better. Let's do that better for the sake of the video. Let's do that a little bit better and the sake of the class. Okay, that's camera one. That's the host. Actually. Camera two. It's got both the host and the guest. That's host and that's guest. Camera three. It's got the same thing as camera one, but it's got the guest. Okay, guest. Okay, so that's, host. so that's what's going on. And then your graphics is going to be, you know, the uh, title page. Your title page would be something like, you know, Good Morning TV or, I don't know, Kicking It with K-Twan. I don't know. It could be, uh, 
What? Hello, New York. Yeah, hello, New York. You know, Mercy, New York, or something. Whatever your title is going to be. So, let's go back to your format page again now that you have that information. You start off in black, nothing's happening in the sound. Then from there, you go to your graphic page, which is title page, good morning, hello, New York, whatever. While that's happening, the music fades up. Then from there, you go to a two long shot, which is a host of guests, which is on which camera? Camera two, right? Camera two, right? Then from there, you go to one medium shot of the host. That's on camera one, right? Down theme, music fades down and out, and the host gets cued. Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Lamont, and today my guest is Emily. And when we show the guest, one medium shot of the guest, that's on camera three. So you go to camera three over here. And then from there, you go right back to the conversation. You just have a conversation until you get the 30 second wrap up signal from the floor manager. The floor manager will stand out there and or one of the camera people will be the floor manager. They'll put up three fingers. They'll make like a helicopter movement like that because they can't speak. And if you're the host, you'll see that and you'll say, oh, I'm sorry, but out of time. You say your guest politely. Then you turn to camera one and you say, thank you for joining us. Tune in next time, same time, same station. Thank you. Goodbye. And then that's what, what camera is this on? One medium shot of the host? Camera one, thank you. Just want to make sure you're awake. <laughs> okay, when the host says thank you, goodbye, the music fades up. Two long shot of the host and guest. What camera is that? That's good. You're on track. The music is up. The music's playing. We're back on camera two. Uh, we can't hear them anymore. We just hear the music. Then from there, we go to the closing graphic, which is the same as the opening graphic. So Monday, you know, Monday, whatever Lamont said or whatever, you, whatever. However, wh whomever decides what the opening and closing graphic is going to be at the time of the show. Okay, it's the same graphic. Okay, the music's still playing. Then from there we go to black and then down and out theme. And that's the format of the show. Now you could look at any talk show, whether it be on cable, whether it be on television, whether it be on, you know, internet or whatever it is when there's a host and the guest. And you can write out, split the page in half and write out a format, in other words. Describe it and what's happening on the audio and what's happening on the video simultaneously. Just like that. This is so you can communicate with a director, you can communicate with a producer, you can communicate with an editor, with the camera people. They understand what you're trying to do. It's a, it's a typical format page. okay? But to execute this page, we have a, a standard opening for the assistant director and a standard opening for the director to make this happen. And that's where it gets fun. okay? So the next thing would be opening for the assistant director. That's, that would be me all the time. So I'm going to start out by saying, quiet the studio, quiet the control room. Quiet in the control room. And I'll just wait for everyone to get quiet, because everyone needs to be quiet so we can start. So I'll just, you know, wait. So I also have the headphones. I'm, I'm communicating with the camera people and the... In the, on the studio floor, I also has that have everyone around me in the control room as well. So I've got to make sure everyone is focused now. That's the thing about this. Everyone's got to be focused at the same time. You know, you can't be like buzzing with, you know, this or looking at your watch. Looking at, you've got to be focused at the same time in order for this to work. But it's fun. I guarantee you, you'll have a lot of fun with this. So it's quiet. Then I'll say ready to record and confirm speed. And I'm waiting for the person that's going to be recording the show to say ready. So if it's your job, if you're assigned to record the show, you'll say ready. And I'll hear you. M most of the time, the person recording the show is not in the same room. But for our learning environment, the person is in the same room. Just so I could look and make sure it's being recorded properly. Although sometimes I miss it and the show's not recorded too. So it happens. But it's important. And then when the person says ready, then I'll say, okay, record and confirm speed. And what that means, and then waiting for the word speed. Now, back in the day of tape, of videotape, it took about 10 seconds for the tape machine to pick up speed at 30 frames per second to record proper audio and proper video. 
So the tape recording person or the recording operator would hit play and record, whatever, and they would watch the machine, watch the counter, and wait for it to count that 10 seconds, and then they would respond by saying speed, and then we can continue with the show, with what we're going to do. What happens if you didn't, if, if you started to, if you started to proceed with the show before you had speed? Well, if you've ever noticed on your home VCR, I know you still know what VCRs are from your parents, and, and ever watch, ever notice when a, a, you start recording a show on the videotape, you'll see that the very beginning is kind of like blurry, or there's a rainbow of color, or the sound is not really accurate. Because it takes a couple of seconds for the old VCR to pick up speed at 30 frames per second. Luckily today with digital, as soon as you press that button, it, you have speed. But we just like to give it three seconds anyway. And you see the light, as soon as you hit that record button on that recording device, that's recording to uh, the, the flash drive, you'll see the red light start to blink. It'll blink slow, one, two, three, and then you say speed. So give it three seconds even though as soon as you, you hit record, it's like on your phone, as soon as you hit record on your phone, it starts recording immediately, right? Because of you know, the digital realm, it's great. But just to be safe, give it three, three red lights or three seconds and then say speed. So then I'll continue and I'll say, okay, ready. Uh, to uh, take, test, and tone, and then I'll say take, test, and tone. And what's happening here is the color bars, like we discussed in previous classes and you saw when you were practicing the video switcher, the color bars will pop on the screen and the tone, the audio person, will hit the button on the audio board to start the tone. And at the same time, the clock, I'll start the clock starting to count down from 3 minutes and 30 seconds. It starts counting backwards. And then it goes to 325. And I'll say, ready to drop, test, and tone, and take slate. And then 320, I'll say, drop, test, and tone and take slate. Okay? So what's on the slate? The name of the college, the date, the name of the show, the name of the director, the class. My name is there as a professor. Your name as the director is there. The take number, how many times we've recorded the show. That's the blue screen I showed you inside. I said you don't have to touch much here. You just have to change the information. Okay? Drop test and tone and take slate. Then at 315, I'll say ready to drop slate and take black. And at 310, I'll say drop slate and take black. And then I'll be counting down 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, air. And when I say air, the program's supposed to start. The graphics and the music. Da, da, da. You follow what I'm saying? You follow what I'm saying? So let me go over that one more time. I'm your assistant director. I'll start out quite a studio, quite a control room. Let's say when I hit, when I get a quiet, let's say, okay, ready to record and confirm speed. I'm waiting for the recording operator to say ready. And then when that person says ready, I'll say, okay, record and confirm speed. Then I'll say, ready to take test and tone. I'll say, take test and tone. And then the clock will start counting down from 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And you'll hear the tone, and you see the color bars on the, on the program monitor. Then at 325, I'll say, ready to drop test and tone and take slate. Then you'll see the slate on the ready monitor, and the, and the, co the color bars are still on the program monitor. And at 320, I'll say, drop test and tone and take slate. And then the audio person will shut off the tone, will be quiet, and you'll see the blue, the blue screen that has the slate written on it on the program monitor, okay? Then at 315, I'll say ready to drop slate and take black. You have, sl you have slate is still on the program monitor, but you have black on the preview monitor. And at 310, I'll say drop slate and take black. That is black. On preview and program is silence, and I'll be counting down. I'll be watching the clock, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And while that's happening, 
you as a director, you have to get ready to do this. And how to do this is the next part, is the opening for the director. Okay. And while I'm counting down, you're saying, ready to fade in Uh, we'll do sound or theme if you like. Ready to fade in opening graphic. And you got 10 seconds to do this. So when I say air, it's got to hit. So when I say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, air, then you say fade in opening graphic. Fade in theme. Now we, we're seeing this. We're seeing the graphic and the theme. The next is this thing. So ready. Notice I'm writing it in spaces. Ready to dissolve to camera two. Ready to fade out theme. Ready to mic and cue talent. They're all just ready commands, so to say them clearly and crisply. Ready to dissolve to camera two, ready to fade out theme, ready to mic and cue talent. Then you, you, you again, you come on again, dissolve, I'll do it over here, dissolve to camera two. Ready to dissolve to camera right camera one okay then then breathe for a second then do it dissolve to one down theme mic and cue talent And then the host says, hello, welcome to the show. My name is Tay Tuan, and today my guest is Lamont. So you're going to have to ready three. And then when Tay Tuan says Lamont's name, you take three. So the, so, so the audience sees who the guest is. And as soon as you're on three, the host is still speaking, so you have to cut right back to ca either camera one or camera two, depending on what, what happens. You've got to see what happens. I can't tell you. So let's go with that intro again. So I do all of this stuff, and when I, while I'm counting down, while the assistant director is counting down, you as a director, you're going to say, ready to, to fade in camera, ready to fade in opening graphic, ready to fade in sound. And you're waiting for the, for, for the countdown to finish. Five, four, three, two, one, air, fade in graphics, fade in opening theme. And you pause, just a little space there. See, I wrote it with a little space, just, just enough to catch your breath. You pause, you breathe, and then you go, Ready to dissolve to camera two, ready to fade out theme, ready to mic and cue talent. Breathe. Dissolve to camera two, ready to dissolve to camera one. Breathe. Dissolve to camera one, down theme, mic and cue talent. Mic and cue talent, that means telling the, the audio person to turn on the microphones. And it also tells the floor manager to cue the talent, the host, when to start to speak. Mic and cue talent. And then you're ready camera three, because now the host, let's say K-Tuan, is getting ready to introduce Lamont. When K Tuan says Lamont's name, you're ready on camera three. Lamont's on camera three. He's the guest. And then when K Tuan says his name, you take three. And then from there, you're ready camera two, probably, because that's the safest shot. Right? It's got host and guest covered. Or if the host continues to talk to the home audience and look at the camera, then you have to go back to camera one. So you really don't know what's going to happen, how the host and guests are going to play it. And that's, that's, you have to ad lib. You have to kind of like get on the wave and ride and see what happens. But you'll learn how to do that today, I promise you, inside. you learn how to do that today. So, that, so that now what happens is, for the next two minutes, you're directing. You're directing. You're, you're putting the best shot, the best choice of the three cameras on the, on the program on it so the home audience can see. Usually, talk shows today have four cameras, but because of COVID, we're doing three cameras because it reduces the number of people in the studio. So you have your host and guests will be in the studio, 
and then you have three camera people. Actually, we don't even need three camera people. We probably have two camera people. Camera two will be locked down. Camera one and camera three will be have two people. Okay. So that's four people in there, and then in the control room you have another five people in the, in the control room doing the other job. Or you can have a you can have a floor manager standing behind camera two, sort of babysitting camera two, but also cueing the hosting guests when to start and when to speak. So you have five people in the studio, and the other five people will be in the control room, and that balances out what the amount of people we're supposed to have in the room to be safe. Everybody be wearing masks except the hosting guests. The hosting guests, you don't have to wear masks. You are spaced far enough apart in the studio, okay? But if you feel uncomfortable, wear your mask. But like I said, you were sp and you're about 15 feet away from the camera people. So, and the camera people will be wearing masks. So when you're hosting guests, you don't necessarily have to wear a mask, but it's up to you. I'm not going to force you to do either or. Okay. I, we did this last semester. It worked just fine that way. Okay, so anyway, so now you're having this conversation. They're having a conversation, and you're trying to deliver the best shot to the home audience during that conversation. Until you get the 30-second wrap-up signal from me, the assistant director, because I'm looking at the clock, and I'm also talking to the camera people and the floor manager out there, and I'm saying, okay, 30 seconds, wrap it up. 30 seconds, wrap it up. What happens now? That's over here. When the host gets the signal, we have to be back on camera one so the host can start to say, thank you for joining us. So wherever you are on the show, you'll have to, I'm going to erase this part. You have to do the ending. You have to execute the second. You as a director, you have to execute this part. This part, you get your 30 second wrap up signal. Okay, you're ready one. And you have to wait for the host to get the signal. The host gets the signal, you take one. How do you know the host has gotten the signal? How would you know if the host has gotten the signal? The host turns to camera one and starts saying good night. I mean, you know, the floor manager, I'll, the floor manager cue you, Emily, you're the host, and you'll get that. So you're talking to Lamont. You go, I'm sorry, Lamont, we're out of time. And you, and you look at camera one, your camera, the host, and you say, thank you for joining us. That's how we know. And then, for, so you, that's where you take camera one, right? And then while that's happening, you're ready to dissolve. To camera two, ready to fade in theme and close mics. And now you're waiting. You're waiting for them to finish. Thank you. When, you know, thank you for joining us. Tune in next time. Same channel, same station. Thank you. Goodbye. This is all to two up theme close mics. Show's over, basically. You'll, I'll give you a time cue so you know what time it is, how much seconds you have left. But it's usually have about 15 seconds by that point. So now you have to do this. You're on count, you know, just have to. You actually just have to do it. Dissolve the two. Dissolve the two. Two camera two. Up theme. and close mics. That's, you know, thank you, goodbye. When the host says, thank you, goodbye. And you there's off two up, you know. And now, now you're on camera two, the music's playing, and now you have to do this, right? Graphics. Ready to dissolve the closing graphic? Dissolve the closing graphic. Ready to fade, which this is black is next, so ready to fade to black and fade out sound. Can you shut that door please, a little loud? And fade, thank you. Out theme. Okay, let me explain what I just wrote. Okay, so you went for the part where the host says, thank you, 
good night. And then you dissolve the two, fade up theme, now, and music's, and close the mics, and the music's playing. La, la, you ready to dissolve the closing graphic? <sighs> dissolve the closing graphic. Good. Ready to fade the black and fade out theme? And you're waiting for the, the, the countdown. I'll be giving you a countdown. I'll be saying, okay, in seven seconds, six, five, four, three. And when I get to two seconds, you should say, fade the black and fade out theme. And it'll happen exactly at zero. And if it doesn't happen at zero, what happens in real life? The commercial cuts you off, right? You've, you've seen that before, right? You're watching a show, the credits are rolling, and also the commercial just cuts in before the show's over. Or they're talking, they're trying to say goodnight, but the commercial cuts in. You follow my point? The commercial clock overrides the program clock, because that's where the money comes for the program. Like when you go to a commercial, like it cuts into a commercial, when it's, when it's trying to, they're talking, and say, oh, we got a break for commercial, break, break, and the, guy, the, the host, the man, or the woman is trying to say, we'll be right back, but the commercial cuts in right away. It's because they went over time. The commercial clock overrides the program clock. So whether it be the beginning of the show, the middle of the show, the end of the show, the commercial clock is going to come in, is going to cut into the program and play whatever it needs to play. So that's what we're really up against. We're up against this clock. And I got the clock right in front of me as the assistant director. It's sitting right there. And I'm watching the clock. And I'm making sure we're doing all these things within this 3 minutes and 30 seconds. It takes about 30 seconds to get in. It takes about 30 seconds to get out. So now you're down to a 2 minute and 30 second show. And that's, like we, that's the amount of time between commercials, basically, on a quick talk show. And if you can direct a two, two minutes of conversation, two minutes and 30 seconds commercial of conversation, then yeah, you can direct. Let's check Alex again over here. All right, so that, that's, that's what we're going to do next week. Wow. It's, it's a lot of coordination. It's a lot of patience. A lot of just, you know, listening and doing what you have to do when you do it. It's your turn to do what you have to do. Everyone's got to work. You can't. You, it's the, I, I, I tease people about this. I really don't. I, yeah, I teach television, but I'm really teaching total strangers to be completely cooperative with each other. That's really what I'm doing. When you go on a job, a freelance job, you don't know who these people are. You, but, you know, you know your skills, and they know that you know, and you're going to show them that you know. And basically, you're going to do your job, and they're going to say, oh, you know, Ketuan, you know, he knows what he's doing. Or, Emily, she knows what she's doing, like, you know. Uh, you got to know their job, but you also have to specialize in your job. And that's why we have the rotation in our, in our studio inside. Everyone does the job for that show, and then you rotate to a different position. You have to understand all the jobs that go into putting on a 3 minute and 30 second talk show. All the jobs, from the director, the assistant director, the audio, the camera one, camera two, camera three, floor manager, host and guest. Host and guest. You have to understand what it's like to be in front of the camera, too. Some of you are going to hate it, and some of you are going to love it. But give it a chance. Just give it a chance. I'll go over that in a few minutes, what to do with that. And then, uh, and you see, you actually see what it's like. You understand all, you know, from each, pers each perspective, what the show is. Because you're sitting there waiting to do your job, but you can't do your job until you get your cue from the person before you that's you're waiting for their cue for you to do your job, and someone's waiting for their cue from you to do their job. It's like a, it's like a links in a chain. It's like a rhythm. It's like, okay. Like I said, today's talk shows are four cameras, and I just want to go over the difference real quick while we're here. And the reason why we're doing three cameras is to keep the numbers down in the studio. But today, talk shows are usually four cameras now. What you do is you have uh, the fourth camera. You have camera. Let's camera one. Uh, camera two. Let me make an. an, an, an a neater box. <laughs> camera two. Camera three. And camera four. What ends up happening is camera one is the could be the host, which is a medium shot. Camera four is the guest which is a medium shot or a close-up or whatever. You know. And camera two and camera three are two shots. What I mean by that is both, both cameras are two people in a shot. 
So camera three, the two people are sitting that way. So this person is looking that way, that person is looking uh, that way. And then this over here, it's the same thing, only it's, only it's more for this person. So camera two is really for the host on a two shot. Camera three is really for the guest on a two shot. But you can't move, you can't switch between camera two and camera three simultaneously because they both have very similar shots and it causes confusion. It's like, it's like a jump cut, an unnatural flow of action. So in other words, camera one has just, just the host. Camera, three, camera four has just the guest. And those are the special treat shots. You know, those are the shots that you know, no one else is in the frame. But when you want to show the host talking, asking a question, and you want the guest's reaction to the question at the same time, you go to camera two. And then when the guest starts to answer, you jump to camera four. And then from here, you're ready, you come back to camera one for the host's next question. And then for the guest answer this time, instead of going to camera four, you can go to camera two. And then when the, if the guest continues, then you, then you can go to camera four. So it's like, it's like a juggling act. It's like a juggling act. And you don't want the audience to be aware of the juggling act. You want the audience to understand, not even to understand, you want the audience to just be, want something, and then you give it to them. I want to see that person closer, and then you give it to them. I'm asking Ketuan a question, and now I want to see a closer shot of him. So by camera four, you're going to, I'm going to give, you, to give it to him, to the audience. And then when a Emily's speaking, I could go to Emily on a two shot, or I could go to Emily in just a shot by herself. Understand with television, it's a medium of close-ups. And now with your phones, it's even worse because you have to shoot, you're looking at a little box on your phone screen, not even the whole screen, you're looking at a little box on the screen. And so a medium shot, a medium wide shot, those shots are too far, you can't see the person's features. So it's always like a medium close-up, close-up. It's always a closer shot. And television allows you to get really close to total strangers. Actors, people you might admire or might not like, whatever, but get really, really close. I can't walk up to you and get right in your face. You'd slap me, right? I hope you would. <laughs> and plus, now with COVID, I really can't do it. But I used to do that with students pre-COVID. I used to get right in their face. They'd be going, what are you doing? i go, exactly. But with the camera, you're able to zoom in really close. You can see their lines, you can see the color of their eyes or their eyelashes. You get real good. And that is okay to do that with the camera. But it's not okay to do that you know, in person, right? So you see what happens there. The camera allows you to get close. That in person, it's uncomfortable, but with the video camera, it's allowed. So one of the first mistakes students make, or, or they're very, being very polite with the video camera. They'll shoot, you know, Give me a shot of Lamont. They'll give you a shot of Lamont. Then they'll take a shot of him and his medium shot or a medium wide shot. They go, why are you doing that? Let's get a close shot. Let's see his eyes. Come up here. Let's go that, that close. What's up? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, so that's, you want, you want a close shot. Any questions or comments about this? I hope you're watching talk shows and Talk shows have changed now during the COVID environment. True. Yeah, they've changed a lot. People are doing it through Zoom. There's the, 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 the hosts and guests are at different locations sometimes. But a lot of these shows are coming back, but there's separation between the people that are on the stage. So there's enough space between them not to transmit anything if they might have an infection, God forbid. Uh, but hopefully that'll be coming to an end shortly. Hope by, by, by the summer we should be good. Well, after everyone's vaccinated, I hope. Uh, so like I said, so this format page is, could, des could describe any show. If you have an idea for a talk show, how do you put it into writing? How do you put it on paper? This is what you do. How, you, know, you know, black graphic up thing. You know, the, it doesn't have to be a graphic. It could be a pre-prepared, a pre-planned video package. You've seen this on, on television. The opening of a show is really the host, you know, in different still photographs and different scenarios while the audience is applauding and the music's playing and the announcer is announcing live. And today on Gus, on, today, 
like, our guests will be, you know, and that's live, that part's live, but everything else is kind of like already pre-packaged instead of doing that. Uh, camera two sometimes could be a wide shot of the stage and the band is playing on one side of the stage and the host is talking in the middle of the stage, right? But camera one, like I said, is usually the host and camera, th camera three or camera four is usually the guest. It's a multi-camera studio setup. Lots of things today, again, are shot single camera film style and, and re directed, reproduced in the editing process. But that takes a lot of time and time is money. If you have a studio, you can shoot two or three cameras at the same time while you're having a conversation. Yeah. You, you'll see what we'll do inside. We'll produce shows. We'll produce four shows, six shows a day. We start producing our shows. You know, very, you know, it's impressive. And you'll, you'll learn how to run everything. I'm actually, you're pretty much at that point. You almost know how to run everything now anyway because of the tutorials we've been doing each week. Like I said, so today in the studio, what we're going to do is this, these directing modules where you team up with one person, and some, that person's a technical director, and you're the director. And we're going to watch you direct for five minutes. I'm going to watch the clock, five full minutes, while we have two people, volunteers in the studio, that are just having a conversation. It's not going to be recorded. It's just, just an open-ended conversation. And you just got to juggle the cameras, the three cameras, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera one, camera two, camera three. Be on the right camera when the right person is talking. Okay, be on, be on, you know. And then that'll take, you know, most of the class. Everyone's got to learn, everyone's got to do that. Otherwise, you're not going to learn how to direct this. And this is like an open, I'll just watch you and I'll help, I'll help you along if you're running into problems. But once I demonstrate it for you, I think you'll get it. Most people get it. I'll demonstrate it and then I'll, okay, somebody do this. And, and someone sits in my position, they start to do it and I start to push them along and they do fine. They do that for five minutes, then they switch. And then another team, another group of people come in, and then they switch after five minutes. And then another group come in. And meanwhile, I have to, I have to switch the talent, the people out on the floor, because you know, they get, after a while, they run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> you know? Our shows are only three minutes and 30 seconds. The conversation is only two minutes and 30 seconds. But what we're going to do now is just going to be an open-ended conversation. So it may go on for 20 minutes. So just, just, just have some fun with it. Just talk and have some fun with it. Question, questions, comments? You sure? Okie dokie. So we're good. Our timing is good. Why don't you take a break for 10 minutes? I'll meet you in the studio. Uh, put your gloves on in the studio. And uh, we'll start to do this.